everyone, it's Tegan Josie here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how I created my Regina Dino Crisis cosplay. Firstly you're going to want to start by putting on some rubber gloves and dyeing any fabrics that you have for the cosplay. In this case I dyed my prop holster from khaki to a darker brown. The dye I used was Dylon in the colour Espresso Brown. Make sure to use a plastic container or a stainless steel sink when dyeing your fabrics or props to prevent any unwanted stains. I poured approximately 500ml of warm water into a jug to mix the dye before pouring it into the container. Bear in mind this kind of dye won't work on plastic parts. Be sure to add more water to the bucket until the whole prop is submerged. Then leave it in a safe place to stew for around 2 to 3 hours, stir every 25 to 30 minutes. I bought a grey full bodied leotard, a tanked black shiny gymnastic leotard, a grey adjustable fabric belt and a brown belt bag, all from Wish. For this next step you're going to want to try everything on and see what needs altering to fit your body shape. My belt was far too long so I cut it down to my desired length. Using a pencil I then made some markings for where I need to cut my sleeves. I drew my markings approximately halfway down my biceps and also near my shoulders. I took my leotard off before cutting off the sleeves from the shoulders. Now that you have your sleeves, go ahead and trim them down. Make sure they're both the same length. The next step is a little complicated to explain. Turn your sleeves inside out. On the cut side of the sleeves, roll the edges of the fabric out. Be sure to leave at least one inch of fabric to make sure you have enough room for error. Use some safety pins around the perimeter of the sleeve cuff to pin the fabric evenly into place. This will help you keep a straight line when sewing. Now it's time to start sewing. I use a running stitch technique to sew around the sleeve cuff. I hand sew all of my cosplays in clothes, but if you have a sewing machine, that would be easier. When you finish sewing the sleeves, cut off the leftover fabric. Your sleeves are now finished, you can flip them back out again. Be sure to use the same sewing technique on the shoulders of the leotard the end of the fabric belt and anything else that needs sewing. To finish this cosplay you're going to need a wig. If you need to restyle or cut your wig there's many ways you can do so. Here's how I styled mine. Bear in mind I'm not a professional when it comes to hair. Tie your hair in a low bun and apply a hairnet or wig cap before putting on your wig. I 
you can see, my wig needed a lot of work. It was far too long and shapeless. I started off with one side of the wig first. I cut it shorter up to my jawline, then added loads and loads of layers. This took around an hour for me to do, then I moved on to the other side of the wig. When you've styled your wig, your cosplay is now complete. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. I also stream a huge variety of games on Twitch 3 to 4 times a week. So if you're interested, be sure to check out my channel, link in the description. Bye!